In this video, we're going to explore how to create, manage, and report on your paid Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok ads, all from AdRoll. Before you get started, you'll need to connect your social ad managers to AdRoll. If you haven't done so yet, check out our Help Center article linked below, which will walk you through the process. So with that, let's get started. We'll head over to the recipes section where we can easily create and launch campaigns with specific goals in mind. In our case, we'll select re-engage browse abandoners since we want to retarget users who have visited our website but didn't make a purchase. Once we select the campaign type, we'll be brought to the automation builder where we can select the campaign trigger and exit criteria, build out our social ads, and the option to include web ads and email together. Starting with trigger and exit criteria, we'll leave our trigger as view page which means that anyone who has viewed a page on our website will be targeted. For the exit criteria, we'll set it to end when the user receives a post-purchase thank you email, meaning they've bought something from our website. Moving on, we're going to delete the email node since we just want to run ad campaigns across our social channels. We'll then move down to the Ads node and click Set up Ad Campaigns, where we'll select the channels we want to run ads on. And then, we'll go through the setup process for each channel. We'll start by selecting targeting options, if applicable, and then either selecting or uploading the ad creative we'd like to use. As a note, if you don't have any ad creative, you can request free Facebook and Instagram ad creative from the AdRoll team once every 90 days. At the bottom, we can set our daily budget, and then once we're done, we'll click Save to move on. With our campaign ready, we'll click Continue to Review to take a last look at all the details and make sure they're correct. We'll then click Launch. It can take up to 48 hours for campaigns to be reviewed. Once approved, they'll start spending immediately. Let's move on to measuring our performance. To see the performance of this recipe as a whole, let's start off to the right with the recipe itself, where we can view the recipe's performance and delivery metrics or compare it by channel. We can also select a specific node in the editor to update the performance section to show the metrics for that channel. At the bottom of the screen, we can click more details where we can see reporting across all of our live ads channels. From here, we can view campaign metrics, export consolidated reports into a spreadsheet, view performance by channel, and dive into campaign performance over time. You can also edit your campaigns from this screen by clicking edit from the three dot menu. With your social ad campaigns now living in ad role, you can start managing them all from one place, which saves you precious time for all the other marketing activities on your plate. Thanks for watching.